Would you not want, before you answer the other questions, would you not want a guaranteed livable basic income program to reduce poverty rates greater than one half? I mean, the cost to society is, we've looked at the numbers, it's, it's not a nominal cost. Mm -hmm. w wouldn't you want that to be one of the objectives? Uh, that certainly could be one of the objectives, but it would mean uh, an even higher cost and potentially higher disincentives to work. So it's a policy decision, and we were told, we were given parameters to estimate and to cost the program. That's what we use, but we could do the same exercise with a, a higher guaranteed basic income. The cost would be higher, and we'd get slightly different numbers in terms of incentives, disincentives to work. Um, with respect to your, sorry? You know, impact on the economy and majority yeah. of Canadians. Yeah, impact on the economy. We did not estimate the impact on the economy per se, but by having um, a segment or a majority of the population reduce their own um, disposable income, so quarters, uh, quintiles three, four, and five would reduce, would, would suffer or would have a reduction in their disposable income. That would um, reduce their consumption and investment. On the other hand, the consumption and investment, or probably more consumption of the first two quintiles would go up, but the impact uh, would probably mostly come from the disincentives to work. So we, can, we did not estimate the impact on the economy, but we can guess that the impact on the economy could potentially be slightly negative through a reduction in the work effort of those uh, and due to the introduction of a guaranteed basic income. Uh, just to add to 